Good morning, boys and girls. I have a question for you today. Have you ever flown a kite? Um, I think it's so much fun to fly a kite on just a beautiful, windy day. I remember back when I was about 11 years old, our Sunday school teacher invited our whole class to come to his house for a cookout. And then in the afternoon, we were gonna have a kite flying contest. So all of my friends worked hard to find the perfect kite. Um, my dad ended up helping me build one out of dowel rods and heavy duty wrapping paper. And so I made a kite that I was very um, proud of and ready to fly and we went um, to his house that had a big field and we had a wonderful meal and then it was time to start the contest and so we all worked very hard to get our kites high up into the sky um, and before long you could just look out and see all these beautiful colors and shapes um, up blowing in the wind and so it was just beautiful and peaceful and calm until all of a sudden I heard this commotion off to the side and it was loud and somebody kind of yelled and I look over and and Brandon had had his kite in his school and he had let all of the string out so that his kite was no longer attached to the spool or to him and so it's flying away spinning out of control and finally it crashes to the ground off in the distance. You see, as long as the string was attached to the spool and as long as someone had a hold of it and it was anchored, the wind could withstand or the kite could withstand the pressure of the wind and the direction and just kind of float back and forth. But as soon as the string ran out and it was no longer anchored, it couldn't withstand it. It just spiraled out of control and crashed. You know, as I thought about it, the kite reminds me of us and people as we have choices and all these different directions that we can go in. We've got to choose which way to go and what to do. The string reminded me of our connection to God and the way that we can stay connected to Him. And two of the main things would be Bible reading, spending time in God's Word, and prayer, talking to Him on a daily basis, seeking His will for our life and what direction He would have us to choose. And then the anchor, of course, is God. We are staying anchored to Him in our relationship with Him. In Psalm 119, 9 to 11, it says, How can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Boys and girls, as it's summertime and you all probably have some extra time on your hands, I want to encourage you to spend time in God's Word daily. Get to know Him better. Find out what His plan is for your life through Scripture. Talk to Him. Seek His wisdom so that you will make the right choices and you'll stay anchored to Him.